presented by Tap Room. 74 Wyndham Street, the ultimate sporting hub. www.drinkfromthetap.co.nz FFN. You crazy for this one, Rick? The Tap Room presents Sprawl and Brawl, the ultimate combat podcast. 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 With Dan, JB, and Eddie Redskirt. <laughs> Sprawl and Brawl, welcome in. Another Sunday UFC action is ready for us. JB, the ultimate rider, what is up? Yo, yo, not a lot. Uh, down here at the tap room, pretty sweet. Ready to go. Red Scarf, how well, you doing, my man? I'm doing real good, man. I'm looking forward to this fight. It's, uh, it, is a, it, yeah. it is Women's Weekend of the UFC for the very first time. Yeah, yeah, Main yeah. event, co-main event, both women's events. Amazing. And I am hanging out for it. I've been looking forward. This is like my favorite Sunday of the month. <laughs> it is pay-per-view Sunday, and we are ready down in the tap room. 74 Wyndham Street in the city to watch us some UFC action. Ronda Rousey versus Kika Kat Zingano, man. There you go. Pick it now, Red Scarf. I want I want Kat Zingano to yeah. win, but I think that Ronda is going to win. Ultimate Rider. Yeah, like, you know, I'm exactly the same. I, I would love Kat Zingano to take this. She's got a story to tell. Um, you know, she's got a story to tell and um, it would be awesome, but Ronda is unstoppable. Welcome in, our special guest this afternoon, Matt G. What's up, Matt? What up, man? I'm here to get educated. Here to get educated. You're not nice. a big UFC man, but no. we're happy that you're sitting in and want to talk a little oh. bit of uh, MMA action you, you here. You can like, play the casual card you know, for, as, as far as fans go. So I'll, just, I'll just say to JB, the ultimate writer, that um, I'm here to learn, man. So, um, you know, I've watched, I've watched a few fights. I get it. Yeah. So um, I just don't know the ins and outs. So let's go. But I'm, I'm with Rousey on this one. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay, cool, cool. And myself? I only see if you've oh, been listening wow. enough. Here you've been listening enough. <laughs> <laughs> Rhonda, I'm waiting. Five weeks now, Rhonda. Anticipating. Six weeks now, thanks, JB. <laughs> Six weeks now. Are you still no sending reply. her nudes of yourself? Not even a retweet. <laughs> oh, I don't it. refer to them as nudes. I refer to them as body part photos. Because I'm not entirely uh, nude. Yeah. I just like take photos of certain body parts yeah I call them naturals naturals natural. there we are naturals and I'd imagine that you're pretty natural with your naturals oh I am as natural as it gets oh man I'm picking Rousey I don't want to well. sit next to you again now eh? <laughs> hey, but I don't think it's going to be a first round armbar I don't think it's going to be a very quick uh, victory for Rousey today no nah. I'm picking Rousey in the fourth though yeah a bit of a grind definitely I think she's going to I think I think she's going to wear Kat Zingano down I'm, yeah. actually, I'm gonna go, actually I'm going to go to the third nice okay so how many rounds do we get we have five today five yeah, Ch- all championships round. and main events are five how many uh, minutes three three minutes five five, five per, minutes. per round all right cool that's all yeah then we got holly holmes as well yeah holly Holmes. Uh, see definitely. if the hype is real with that yeah, one yeah that's right ex uh world boxing champion you know she uh, has a very impressive record 32 two and three i believe it is uh from her boxing and uh that's with huge chaos as well Ronda even went out to say that she would beat her in a boxing match. Ronda came out. Yeah. R- Ronda came wow. out the other day saying that she wants to retire undefeated. Yeah. She wants to pick everybody off one by one by yeah, one yeah. by one. She wants to and, go to. And I've got to be honest. Other than Kat Zingano, I don't see anybody else in the female division that I think can take her. Well, that's, we'll see. That's it. currently in the UFC. Yeah. No. Well, we're cur- that's currently in the UFC. Cyborg. She, she decides yeah. to you, switch over. You think Cyborg can do it? You think Cyborg come back and? Well, I think she's got a huge chance. You know, she uh, fought last night in uh, California yeah, for a destroyed the FC tweet. 11. And yeah, destroyed Charmaine Tweet. If anyone saw this week's Tommy Toehold show, it's hilarious, yeah. hilarious. But uh, yeah, Cyborg, you know, she's been clean for almost three years now. And um, she is a beast, for sure. So Because she looks like a beast. <laughs> she, <laughs> yeah, she, do, she does. Do, that. do you not think that the, the, um, when she was fighting that... It, oh, how, how, do I put, how do I put this? You can look at someone and tell they're going to fail the drug test. Is that what you mean? Pretty nah. much. Yeah, I was yeah, going to yeah. say, like, uh, if China came along and entered the She uh, looks like China. <laughs> yeah, but the Puerto Rican version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we got the Ronda Rousey versus Kat Zingano. The other, of course, the co-main event, women's bantamweight action, yeah. is Raquel Pennington versus your girl, Etsy Holly Holm. Yeah. <laughs> She's my girl now? Okay. Um, uh, so? No, yeah. Um, I just want to see if the hype is real. I've yeah. seen uh, highlights of her boxing yeah, yeah. Uh, matches. She looks pretty good. Her stand-up She's looks never pretty fought clean. anyone sort of anywhere near sort of Rocky Pennington's level. Rocky Pennington was on uh, her season of Tough. She was a great competitor. Yeah. First openly lesbian um, UFC fighter. Oh, right. Yeah, as well. Um, hey, hey, hey. Just, uh, <laughs> just interestingly, how does that go down in the UFC community compared to, say, when the uh, football guys come out and say they're gay and, and all that uh, sure it would have been fine yeah, uh, yeah. Wait, is it, did she come out lesbian or did she come out dyke 
Uh, no, she she came. Well, uh, if you've seen her, she she is relatively butch, but yeah, she she just came out as openly homosexual. Yeah, I'd imagine due to the nature of the sport that it'd be a little bit more accepted in uh, these sort of circles. Yeah, a lot yeah. Of, you know, like a lot of people. I think with, with, with girls, with, like guys don't really care. You know, people right. don't make yeah. a, a yeah. much fuss if girls are like, "Oh, hey, I'm gay." Yeah. If a guy says he can, you know, comes out like, imagine if John in a sport Jones like came this. Out. Imagine, imagine if JB came out and was like. Hey guys, oh, I'm imagine guys, just imagine. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. why are you imagining? So Raquel Pennington, <laughs> so Rocky, Rocky Pennington's coming off um, a win versus uh, yep. Evan Smith, which she won by a bulldog choke. Yep. And then prior to that, though, however, her record in their four previous fights wasn't exactly that great. That's right. So she mm. lost to uh, Jessica Andrade, yep. um, split decision at UFC 171. Yep. Uh, she won her Ultimate Fighter finale match. I forget who that was against. Um, uh, oh, this chick. Modafferi. Oh, huh. uh, yeah, Roxanne, Roxanne Modafferi. Modafferi. That's right. And then you had Leslie Smith and Kat Zingano, um losses. So I'm, I'm interested to see what's going to happen with Holly today because Holly had a really impressive boxing um, career. Um, Story record. boxing career. Yeah, yeah. Wow, well, pretty much. I think she ended up with 33 2 and 3 in her career. I mean, that's right. regardless of whether you're a female fighter or a male fighter, that's, a, that's an impressive so that's boxing record. record. And that's knockout wins record. as well. Like mm-hmm. knockout wins, li- light divisions, knockouts, you know, so she, she is the real deal. She also, had a, she also had some KOs too in kickboxing as well. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. And she's training out of uh, Greg Jackson's gym. Yeah, that's right. So I think, um, yeah. That's pretty. I've seen her sparring with John Jones. Yeah, so well, that's pretty cool. She's you know? been a Winkle John fighter for her entire boxing career. She was a Winkle John fighter, so you know. She's, oh wow. She's got great, great stand up. And this is her UFC debut today. UFC 184 right. versus Rocky Pennington. Yep. Yeah. Um, but she's coming with a MMA record of seven and zero. That's so right. She, yeah, yeah. So she's been getting that. And by looks of things, I'm just looking at the method of victory. TKO, 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 KO, TKO. One decision, TKO. So yeah. it could be a, it could be a really quick fight. I, I'm picking Holly Homer over in, in this one here. Yeah, well, she's she, she's definitely got the world class striking. You know, for for you to be a boxing champion, you know, good to have a female fighter with like world class striking. Though. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think it adds a little bit of variation to the to the division. Yeah, it's and you gang. know, people are kind of uh, some early people. Some people are sorry picking her early as the kryptonite to Ronda Rousey, which is, is possible. But I don't think we've seen anywhere enough from her at this level to, to, to make really, that call. Yeah, make that call. Yeah. All right, sure, sure. Hey, I'm um, just a button for a second and yeah, get more educated. In, in the UFC, um, weight divisions and whatnot, is there any more popular than the other? Is it sort of like the heavyweight guys are like, ooh, and they're, like, they're sort of like, you know, your welterweights and all that are just kind I of think like... Your middle, I think your middleweight and light heavyweight are the two divisions Very which popular. seem to be the really popular yeah. ones. Yeah, because mm. I see a lot of middleweight stuff and I'm thinking, you Probably know... Probably the like, most relatable to people, you know, in terms of yeah. body size and, but, I mean, and physics, etc. I okay. find I have a lot in common with a lot of middleweight fighters, so... <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, the heavyweight uh, belt, with, anytime Kane fights, it's always a massive fight. Yeah. Yeah the, problem, right. yeah, the problem with the heavyweight yeah. division, you, you got They're Kane, hunting. and then there's like a gulf between everybody else. <laughs> yeah, everyone yeah, else. Yeah. And there's right. no disrespect to Mark Hunter or any guys no, from no. Canada, New Zealand. It's just okay. that Kane Velasquez is that much ahead of He's everybody next else. Level. Yeah, yeah. He, he really is, you know. And I, I think it was the same with, um, with boxing, for instance. The heavyweight boxing division has been pretty boring because That's the right. level of competition around has not been that great. That's where right. all, the, all your top fights have been in the welterweights and, yeah. and, and, yeah, uh, yeah. and that sort of thing. So well, that's right, because growing up, right, it was all... Um, it was all know, Tyson. It was, it was Ali. It was, yeah, 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 and yeah. it was all that. Foreman. You know, it Lennox was Lewis and... Holyfield. And all I that sort of stuff. Um, and it was heavyweight, heavyweight. And now it's, you know, sort of you got your, your Pac-Man and your... Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you know what? That prior to Ali, it was, you know, it was... Um, it was... Uh, it was your, your Sugar Ray Robinsons and yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. And yeah. even Sugar Ray Leonard, in fact, and you yes, know, yeah. yeah. So the, the lighter the lighter ones get, have had their moments. It just seems now it just seems because as a lighter fighter they move around a lot more, get a lot yeah. more action, yeah, and yeah. that's what. Also, let's be honest, we're not watching. We're not necessarily watching boxing for a technical thing. We're watching yeah, yeah, for no. entertainment. Yeah. And then like, you have fighters like Anthony Pettis who do crazy moves, yeah, run off the right. cage. I think as crowds have become more educated, they've bega- been able to appreciate the lighter divisions. More than yeah, just yeah. knockout power. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You know, like the, uh, the biggest stars used to be the guys that finished the most ferociously, whereas yeah. now people are, um, you know, they're appreciating like the fancy work. shit. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's almost like wrestling. You know, when wrestling was popular, it was all the big wrestlers. Yeah, and yeah. Then leg long drops. the Mexicans and everything, and they yep. started like the flying all over the, they, yeah, flying you know, all they, over the they place. They were huge in WCW. You in, uh, before mm. it became part of WWE. Luchador, Luchador fighting actually was bigger in ECW before WCW. So a lot yeah, of yeah. WCW stole a lot of the Luchador stuff out yeah. of ECW in the mid nineties. ECW oh, yeah. was amazing back in the day, like when, when it was Dean still Malenko. underground. ECW yeah. was big time. Huge. That was okay. Yeah. I just saw something about Sandman. Um, I saw something about Rey Mysterio getting released from WWE. Yeah, so he's been yeah, released. Yeah. And look, I hope hopefully he oh, goes yeah. down to um. Uh, 
the, the Luchador. The AAA? Um, I think it's called. Yeah, AAA. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. So I hope he goes down there and gets gets the finish amongst his own. Is that in Mexico? Uh, yeah. I think so, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, awesome. yeah, Raymond Stewart is a cool cat, eh? You yeah, can't, awesome, I hope, yeah. Yeah. You know, can't you, bad mouth him. Did you see movie. his movie? The it's horror fucking, movie? Like a doco. Yeah, yeah, horror yeah, horror movie. Horror movie. yeah nah, well, He plays nah. a serial killer. Nah. In a oh, mask. Wow. It's like the, 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 um, the tormented uh, masked wrestler. Oh. Let, let's be honest, though. Um, <laughs> WWE Studios haven't come out with too many good ones. I think Kane's was probably the best. The right. Call, the call the, did really well. Is that the a Halle movie? Berry movie? Oh. That was, that was a um, WWE movie. Mm. Which movie? The Call with Halle Berry. The Call. The yeah. Call. Well, she's the... Um, uh, the I don't think I've seen that. The, the, the emergency, the phone, oh, she's the emergency yeah, operator. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, she, and, and the guys keep getting killed and all that What about John Cena's movies? Oh, John Cena Marine. sucks. John Cena's movies. <laughs> that was oh, The like, Marine, that's right. Yeah, yeah. The Marine. That was, like, that was 12 so, like, rounds. Absolutely like the epitome of an action movie. What about Triple H's movie? That was like, even worse. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was like Daddy Daycare gone wrong. What about China's yeah. movie? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about China's movie. You've got that on your hard drive. If he's a fan of it. Uh, hey, oh, did you see that clip of China trying to twerk? <laughs> that is the dude. most disgusting thing. Oh, dude! Next to seeing her naked. What was it, China? Yeah. X Park. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cracker, man. Cracker. Well, six puck. Right. Six Preliminary puck. action: the last of the of the uh, prelim fights on Fox Sports One is taking place right now. Mark Munoz versus Ryan Janeiro. The guy in the black's gonna win. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that would be Mark Munoz. No, Mark no, Munoz no, is the uh, guy in the red. Mark Munoz is red and white. Oh, sorry about that. Gee, yeah. how, do, how bad do I feel right now? Oh, <laughs> Mark Munoz. Mark Munoz got the knocked out Filipino by uh, Chris machine. Weidman. Remember that? Ah, yeah, yeah, also yeah, by yeah. Leota Machida with a really nice head kick, and they were training yeah. partners. Uh, there's that legendary photo of Machida bowing to him when he's knocked the fuck out. Hey, very quickly, back to the official fight card. Jake Allenberger versus Josh Kroschek. Such yep. a boring fight. Potentially, but th- those guys can both bang, both knock out power. Koscheck's been stopped before. Allenberg has been stopped before. Um, and, you know, theoretically, their wrestling will neutralize each other. Yeah, but Allenberg, he's been fighting pretty shit lately. For sure. Yeah. Like, he's been really shit. Yeah. Um, he I, has uh, lost his mojo, for sure. They should have put them in the prelim cards, to be honest. <laughs> I think they're big draw cards, and, you know, this this card, they, they're, they're kind of struggling for star power uh, yeah. in a lot of people's minds. Well, they lost what was probably going to be the most the exciting fight. The, the, the most exciting Chris, fight yeah. in, in Weidman versus like, uh, Belfort. year in the and making. Then, then Vito, Vito, Vito the Dodger. And then, then someone else got, <laughs> um, was pulled off the card. Wasn't there so, another? The middleweight fight that was supposed to be on there? Uh, not oh, here we oh, go now. There you go. Yeah, he's oh, he's gone. Yeah. Oh, yes. A minute and a half into the first round here. Looks like Munoz is bound yeah. a bit. Oh, yeah, he's, he's got out. that locked he's already away. out. He's, gone. He? he's already out, isn't he? Yeah, I think that guy's dead. That guy's out, man. He's not yeah, really. Yeah. Oh, wow. Munoz is out. How does that, how's that going to affect Munoz's career? Especially wow. after the KO. Yeah. Time to go to Bellator. Yeah, I think uh, Joe Rogan's going to have him on the podcast next week. Break it down from. <laughs> <laughs> hey Mark, I'm a huge fan of yours. You know we've been friends for a long time, <laughs> but you don't have what it takes. You just don't have the fight, though. That the is the worst, Joe Rogan. Um, this is Morgan Freeman. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And that little Filipino fella doesn't look in the big back there, right? Can I give you a Morgan Freeman one more time? <laughs> this is Morgan Freeman. You're listening to the Sprawl and Brawl podcast. That sounds nothing <laughs> like Morgan <laughs> Freeman. <laughs> that sounds like... Get yeah. to the chopper. Uh, Hu- Hubert. <laughs> <laughs> Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. <laughs> Bennett let off some steam. <laughs> let off some you guys steam suck Bennett. at accents, eh? I'm uh, just can we get one on. accent from you? No. I just do far <laughs> accents. <laughs> Wow. Right, back to the card, UFC 184 action. Alan Juban versus the Aussie. Richard yep. Walsh. Richie Walsh, big uh, No problems Rich- with pronouncing that with pronouncing that surname. <laughs> pretty easy Walsh. One. <laughs> uh, the Aussie from the Ultimate Fido, who are you picking here, JB? Uh, I gotta go with my man Richie Walsh, even though uh, Alan Juban is a friend of uh, myself and um, yeah. Def- definitely go with Richie. Oh wow, he's oh. your man and you're not even going for him? Uh, what type kind of, of friend are you? Yeah, you're one of those think friends. Twitter, you're Twitter you're friends. one of those friends Twitter when friends. they have like a one-on-one fight, you're like over by the other guy. So, bro, yeah. really yeah. yeah. he's got this. Yeah. Bro, smash yeah. him down. He's got a weak left. Yeah, yeah. Just take yeah. him on the left <laughs> side. Hey, man, he's just Up gonna, cuts. Like, yeah, zip, body, body, <laughs> body, body, straight. All right, go. Watch this, watch this, watch this. So you're, you're, you're picking Shuban. No, no, not me. I'm picking Richie Walsh. Oh, yeah, I'm picking Richie Walsh. Sorry, yeah. Shuban's your friend. Yeah. How'd that come around? Twitter friend, Twitter friend. All <laughs> oh, right. He's your Twitter friend. I actually did say that the whole time. <laughs> Are you serious? No, you never said that. Twitter friend does not I mean. You, have you actually had a conversation with him uh, in person? Uh, 
I does he know? Does he I know your name? Actually, Twitter Twitter John hey, Barry. Hey, hey. hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, no, I actually did clarify. I don't know if you know this. I'm friends of Ice Cube. Facebook friends. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh wow. I hope he unfollows you for the same. I, I I hope he finds out that you pick Richie Walsh. I hope Richie Walsh gets a hiding now. <laughs> um you know, I was I was gonna ask if that was a big deal. Like I'm like, should I know who the Shaban guy is? And is, is he like, you know, Well Richie Walsh is coming like off a loss, eh? He lost to um to Kichikunamoto back at right. um, Hunt versus Nelson. Yeah. UFC Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Richie Walsh is he what, what if you break down these two fights, JB, what do you like about Richie Walsh over over Juban? Well, they're both strikers, um, so it, it's really a case of chin, I guess. Um, Richie Walsh, I like him because he's an Aussie. Um, I've heard, heard him uh, in some good interviews in the past, and um, yeah, I, I just like him. Okay. Um, like him more than your friend, eh? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> That's right. To be fair, just a Facebook friend. Oh, Twitter uh, friend. Twitter friend. Twitter, Twitter. Oh, Twitter friend. Twitter Did anyone just see they're that um, on the undercard for Parker's fight there, female marker is... Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, yeah. In fact, the man himself, uh, fact, the, Triple B. The Butterbean, I think, is coming in later on today to watch the, watch the, watch the fights. Yeah, yeah. So. that's right. Hey, um, then the lightweight fight, Tony Ferguson yep. versus Gleason Thibault. Oh, Kukui. Kukui. Yeah. Uh, Tony Ferguson. Tony Ferguson is like this. Yeah, he's I'm, great. I'm, I'm, not good familiar, I'm not that familiar with Tony Ferguson. Tough. He's from the Tough House. He mm. uh, won a season as well. So, yeah, great fighter, Al Kukui. And uh, he's on a, he's on a um, pretty much on a tear. Yeah, so. he's there. Yeah, so Gleason's come off three, like three wins as well. Yeah. Um, Pat Healy, uh, Piotr Holman, and Norman Park. So can we just look at that record? Forty wins and what? Ten losses? Yeah, forty ten and oh. Shit. Who's that? Gleason Tebow. I've got thirty three ten. Courtesy of Wikipedia here. So oh, uh, we're looking at the UFC card. Oh wow, UFC dot that, That's a pretty decent record. Yeah, it's impressive. I like his tats. What? I, so moving back to the main event today. What is it that, make, that makes Ronda Rousey that much more of a better fighter than every other woman in the entire division? Oh, wow. Duh, shit. She's just way above everyone else. But I think it's just that it's the team, it's the training that she, oh, those two girls were they about, were to, about kiss. to kiss. They, they were, were so about to kiss. They were about and to kiss cut it off. and they cut it off to go to USC. fucking Rowan Caniero and Joe Rogan. I don't watch these two kiss. I watch those two nah, girls in the okay. crocus. <laughs> so, Ronda, you were saying. Yeah, so. um, but I mean, Ronda's, I mean, who. Everything about Ronda is just the best at the moment, you know. I mean, she does have her own flaws in terms of, you know, fighting and everything. She d- she does get tagged a lot um, when she does get tagged, but even then, you know. <laughs> I'll tag that. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean. I'll tag yeah. it a couple of times. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but. Um, you're, you're right, though. You know, her striking previously has been her weakness, her, her, her yeah. only weakness, if any. Um, you know, she was tagged up. By it's, gone, it's gone in leaps and bounds, uh, but. Yeah. You know, I'm giving Kat Zingano the edge over the, in the striking. Yeah, she just looks um, so and, much and more power. more aggressive and like go at. Well, if you rather look at than yeah. any female fighter that I've ever seen, and yeah, I haven't yeah. watched she, much she fight, of, she fights like a guy. Yeah, well, Kat Zingano, she's yeah. got like a 73 percent striking accuracy, and she, she's finished five fights by a TKO, uh, including her last two against Misha Tate and Amanda Nunez. Yeah. So, um, you know, Kat Zingano is definitely a legit striker. Her knees, her Muay Thai, her elbows, etc. You know, it's just great. And, she, uh, and uh, I, th- the, I think the edge that she'll be fighting with today is that she's had so much shit happen to her. Yeah, that, that mental toughness. Like, mental both toughness, of them, though. Yeah. Like, you know, Rousey is a mental giant. Um, mm. And Kat Zingano, she's really been steeled by the events in her life. And uh, she, I think they're both ready for this fight. I appreciate yeah. the story behind Kat Zingano. Yeah. But I love Ronda Rousey. I love everything yeah. about her. I, I, I love her swagger. I love her confidence. Yeah. I love the way she fucking rolls around. You just around. love her naked. I, I would... She'll never do it. She's she said this week she'll never do naked. Wow. She's been pretty much naked. Oh, I know. Yeah. That is, is the limit yeah. for her. Is that is this like a common thing for like UFC females to get naked? Or no, something? no, no, not her, not her. Okay. Especially not her. Okay. Um, she so, she has been in the past though. So it's looking like it's going to be a really really good card today. We're excited. We're down in the tap room, seventy four Wyndham Street, yeah. Auckland City. Yeah. Come in, check it out UFC one eight four, man. Come in and get a steak dinner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Since we got some more in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> and Victor FC eleven last night. Cyborg versus Tweet. Awesome. Fight. Cyborg. Was Cyborg. It, I, I didn't watch it. it. Was a good fight. She yeah, destroyed really good. She, yeah. she destroyed. Forty-six Charmaine second tweet. punches. Yeah. TKO. Yeah. Charmaine yeah, Tweet is an ex uh, Muay Thai world champion herself, and like a very game MMA competitor. She's at the top level, but um, yeah, she but, got dominated. Yeah. Cyborg swings like she wants to knock you out. Eh? She doesn't every do, single fight. Uh, she doesn't really punch, try sorry. and you know how some fighters come there trying to test their range. Yeah. 
How was Cyborg's body looking? How was her body looking? Yeah, it's not not yeah. incredibly masculine. She's definitely like, definitely you can tell that since she's um, been clean that she she has got a much more natural physique now. Yeah. Um, what about the rest of the card? The rest of the card was good. You know, um, one of my favourite fighters. Um, Sorry, Alexa Grasso was on there, and uh, you know she's a great fighter out of Mexico, young fighter. But um, you know the main event was awesome. Um, like bit of a fact, Ronda Rousey beat Charmaine Tweet in 48 seconds, in what was Charmaine Tweet's first ever pro fight. And um, last night, Cyborg beat Charmaine Tweet in 46 seconds. So, you know, definitely the comparisons wow. are going to continue to fly after this between Cyborg, who people re- really she is the, the the only real hope for women's MMA. In she's terms like of the Joker. Uh, yeah, that's right. She she is the, the you know the antithesis. She is the antichrist to Ronda Rousey. She's everything. So it's a big weekend UFC one eight. She's four. fucking ugly. That's what it means. <laughs> Katzen Gunner. Gunner is not that ugly. Like no 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 no. no, 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 he, no he's no, talking no, about, talking Cyborg. about Cyborg. Oh, Cyborg's fucking yeah. ugly as yeah, hell. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Cyborg, Cyborg, Cyborg. 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 Um, an American based camp I think which is and, and ATT for in Florida eh? ATT have yeah. been for a long time the top American based that's right that's um, yeah. a, a, a training camp yeah. team so. so put it this way when I hear ATT versus Black Zillions I'm thinking like Jack, yep. Jack Swagger when he was in his USA days versus like Biggie Langston like is that the sort of marketing buzz they're going on there uh, no nah, you the marketing buzz with this is the top two training camps in the world okay, yeah, cool. yeah. Like right, the, that's cool. the big that's the big thing with this announcement like it would be like Les Mills, Mills versus um, what Jets yeah, yeah. It's it's imagine if like they're at the very top of the game. If they were the best of the... Yeah, if either okay, of those yeah. gyms were any good. Imagine.
from each camp from each camp but like an actual UFC fight well the the way it works this season is that uh, it's going to feature eight rising welterweights from each team uh, so eight, ah. eight black zillions eight ATT fighters and they'll, they'll be fighting on each other's turf so they'll yeah, be yeah, training yeah. at home but they'll be fighting in each other's gyms so it's, it's got an interesting sort of element to it and you know there's half a million dollars up up for grabs as well as the first ever tough team trophy yeah so, home, um, home of Robbie Lawler ATT though yeah that's that right fun. yeah Robbie Lawler's the man you know the champion in the welterweight weight division at this stage so um yeah any good welterweights coming out of uh black zillions uh not yeah not let's have a look okay yeah well like they've, they've obviously got huge talent so you know the black zillions don't the black zillions have got uh vladimir ayujo carrington banks luis biscape jason jackson vicente luque andres nakahara felipe portello and some other name i'm not even going to attempt to announce there we go so I, I, the only fighter that I'm relatively even slightly familiar with is Andrews Nakahara anyway. So yeah. I think a lot of this is going to come down to the coaching and the team aspect. So yeah, yeah. And the coaches hate, Andrew, hate each other. And, from, yeah. Yeah. Andrews Nakahara was in Strike Force, yeah? I think so. Yeah, yeah I think I'm, I just want to search him up here. I'm pretty sure he was the... Um, oh, no. Yeah, no. He, okay. Yeah, no. He was. Who's like who's like the overall man of all this UFC stuff at the moment? Who's like uh, John Jones? Guy? John Jones, okay, well, for sure, without a shadow of a doubt. But the big fight with John Jones versus Rumble Johnson um, at UFC 187, is, you're potentially looking at the biggest UFC card in the history, I think, of UFC. Yeah. yeah. So especially yeah. In during the mass media period of UFC, and the, and it'll be headlined by two championship bouts, John Jones, the poster boy. Well, not necessarily the poster boy, but the probably the biggest yeah. name in MMA. Chris Weidman's the actual the main poster event. boy. He's the uh, it's a co- no no John Jones Rumble Johnson's the main event. That's the main. That's the, the main. main? Oh, yeah, Chris okay. Weidman's the co-main event because it's yeah. been shuffled onto that card. Yeah, uh, yeah. so that was always yeah, going to yeah. be 187. Yeah, and then of course the other one is is Vito Belfort, um, oh, yeah. okay. the Dodger versus the uh, <laughs> the middleweight champion of the world. Chris Weidman who was supposed to be fighting on this card but had to pull out because of injury the mm. legend killer Chris Weidman hey Kiwis around the world and uh, MMA action of course hey um uh, what's the story with um, f- uh, with Faith Van Duin and, and is she still in um, Invicta she is still in Invicta so um, people who follow Invicta and women's MMA sorry they, they know that uh, New Zealand Faith Van Duin the immortal uh, is signed to Invicta oh, she nice. was um, slated to fight Charmaine Tweet who just fought for the title uh, she was going to fight her in <coughs> December in her debut but Charmaine Tweet failed uh, a, a particular part of the medical nothing to do with PEDS or anything like that But well, um, what did she fail uh, it was there was an, an anomaly on one of her scans, so she uh, the fight was called off. She went back to Canada and got that taken care of for health precautionary reasons. Yeah, yeah. that's right. And also oh, okay. the Houston um, Athletic Commission are notoriously tough to to get things passed. Can, so. can, can I just cut him for a second? I really dislike these pre-fight um, Joe Rogan and Dana yeah. White breakdowns that <laughs> With, they do um, before the year, before the main card. Yeah, why is that? I, I just don't I don't like I don't like listening to Dana Bubba O'Reilly playing in the background <laughs> but <laughs> all I, the time I don't necessarily find Dana um, I, I watched I, I know I've mentioned this before yeah I watched when they did that breakdown with um, Ed O'Neill from Married with Children right yes. and Dana White and Ed yeah. O'Neill who was Al Bundy Char- charismatic just just, just he was like eating his food Dana White's like intensely breaking shit down yeah, yeah. And, and Ed O'Neill's just having a steak and talking and going yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. yeah. I, I just don't I just don't enjoy listening to Dana White very very much um, Dana White is always playing he an is angle, Vince McMahon you know? yeah that's right yeah, he's yeah, always yeah, yeah. promoting he's mm. always playing an angle um, and yeah he just yells he ends up just yelling and then that makes Joe yell and neither of them are they kind of look really similar. Like they'll yeah. hang, they'll hang Huge, out. Huge, bald, yeah. drug abusing white I think white they, even challenged, yeah, um, <laughs> they even challenged. They even challenged. I think Vince challenged Dana for a WrestleMania match once. Yeah, I think Dana they, might they, take Dana, Vince. Though. Dana, Dana's Dana got a, was talking about. Dana's it got a boxing boxing background. Yeah, yeah and he's mm. got a grappling background. Like his jujitsu is fine. Yeah, yeah. Did, and talking about that, did you see the um, the John Jones Rumble Johnson uh, oh, yeah, prank? Yeah, 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 yeah. Funny, eh? It was pretty funny. I don't think Dana's ever going to live that one down, eh? No, nah, no. Nah. Dana it, looks scared. Yeah. Well, I would be scared trying to get in the middle yeah. of those two. Well, I wouldn't even try and get in between. I'd be I'll like, just fuck step that. back. Yo, yo pull stop. out your phone. Stop. Go. Just Hurry stop. Up. Best thing you do. They're showing a um, pre-fight video package uh, yeah. featuring cutting to the uh, the, the, the chain rooms of Ronda Rousey, the champ, 10-0 MMA record. Coach there. Um, 
Uh, yeah, another like, good thing about today's UFC is um, a piss and blood test. Yeah, every yeah. single every fighter single on fighter. the card is getting urine and blood testing. First time ever. First time ever. Really? So, you know, the California AC uh, Athletic Commission are doing it right. And good. You know, this this is it. This is what everyone wants. You know, we want to know that the guys who are the fighters are the are the goat. Uh, you know, are the, the real deal. That, the they're, they're fucking That's legit. It. That's it. Yeah. Fedor has even come out this week and uh, he slammed uh, Silva. Oh, yeah. uh, over his uh, Ped's use. Well, theoretically, use. Fedor lost his first ever fight to a Ped abuser. Yeah, so that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so well, you know, yeah, it's understandable. That, yeah, true that. Uh, but, I, I, I think that that cements Fedor as the the greatest, one of the greatest, the you know, fighters well, ever. Yeah. You know, it, it is the year of the goat as well. Mm. So um, yeah, it's tough. back to Kiwis fighting in uh, MMA action around the world. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, what, what about our man Dan Hooker? Yeah, Dan the Man Hooker, uh, Dan the Hangman Hooker. He uh, obviously Strike Force NZ represent. He's a great fighter, uh, multiple time New Zealand and Australian kickboxing and MMA champion. Yeah, He's been yeah. um, doing a lot of work on social media, uh, trying to get himself another UFC fight. And uh, uh, he's, didn't he get it? Yeah, he's landed a fight on the UFC Adelaide card, May the tenth, versus former Pride fighter and like heavy, like sorry, you know perennial contender Hatsu Hiyoki so big step up for Dan but that's going to be a good fight though I reckon absolutely it's a, it's a, it's a nice step up for Dan to take yeah, yeah. on um, Hiyoki that's it uh, Hiyoki who, who has been uh, um, I think a pretty solid featherweight yeah. sort of he's, he's always been in the top sort of five to, to six um, fighters of the world in, in his division and uh, yeah I, I absolutely rate Hatsu Hiyoki one from five in his last in his last five though that's tough that, you yeah. know so I mean but yeah. he's, had, he's fought some um, some killers Charles Oliveira yeah um, um, and I'm sure only another major name there. Uh, he's Clay Guida. Bit of, yeah, Clay Guida. Um, you know, he's a bit of a gatekeeper, uh, which is, you know, what happens on a regular basis to the older mm. fighters. Yeah. Um, but for Dan, this is going to be a great test. You know, it's going to sh- highlight a lot of the work that he's been doing over there in um, Vietnam at the Saigon Sports Club. He's actually over there with another fighter who's uh, going to be in the making some waves around. Um, sorry, in the one FC Asia Champions card. And so that's our man Dan Hooker. He's going to be taking on Hatsu Hiyoki. Yeah, yeah. June thirteenth, two thousand and fifteen, UFC Fight Night sixty five, and of course the main event of UFC Fight Night sixty five is going to be Mark Hunt versus Miocic, and um, yeah. I think we're all solidly behind Mark Hunt for that one. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. If you're not behind Mark Hunt, Mark, there's a chance that Mark Hunt will Mark, walk up to you. Here's Mark the difference. And drop you. Here we are. We're like, yeah. Yeah. we can talk shit about Mark any Hunt other can, fighter. He can come out of nowhere. Mark Mark yeah, New in. Zealand's too small for us to be yeah. shit talking yeah. about. <laughs> I don't know why Mark Hunt hasn't been made a Hall of Fame member already. Mark, you're the man. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, hard. It's going to be a really good fight. Looking forward to it. I enjoy watching Mark fight. I enjoy his build up. I enjoy his social media stuff that he does yeah, yeah. in the build up to the fight. He is <laughs> all one around. Of the, one of the busiest social media fighters, oh. like men at least. He is an entertaining, entertaining. Um, uh, um, person in general, you know, so yeah, absolutely. a big, big fan. And it's gonna be a great fight card. UFC Fight Night 65 live on Fox Sports. So you can come down here to the tap room, 74 Wyndham Street, and check it out. Very, very excited about that one, though, boys. And I think, uh, I think, I think, I think Mark's got it well wrapped up for sure. Uh, looking through at other Kiwis, what other Kiwis are there making waves in the MMA world? Well, we got uh, Ev the ET Ting, uh, one of our. Um one of our obviously local New Zealanders. He um, he discovered MMA through a friend of Etienne and mine, Hamish Robinson from no. uh, Auckland MMA. Represent Hamish yeah. Robinson. Hey, Hamish, uh, Hamish. 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 <laughs> now uh, Ev's been over there at Saigon Sports Club as well, and another killer. Well, obviously Dan the Hangman, as well as another killer, Jamie VDK van der Kuhl, who is a um, Dutch Muay Thai guy who lives in New Zealand now. But they're all there with Barry Robinson on the clean boxing buzz and um, he's done well here because he, cause he yeah. came from more of a kickboxing background that's and right. adapted into MMA yeah, yeah that's yeah. right so you know he's over there sprawling a hundred times a day so um, those guys are definitely putting in the work it's going to be awesome to see Ev representing again in the, his uh, birth town of Kuala Lumpur Malaysia so yeah awesome Cool. How about the Red Scarf? Don't fly in Malaysian <laughs> Airlines, though. <laughs> oh, That's right. Yeah. yeah, how about the Red Scarf? When's, uh, When's your next fight? My next fight? Shit. You must uh, be due probably, to go pro uh, soon. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll call you out right uh, now. <laughs> uh, probably yeah. going to have a fight in winter. Just yeah. when, uh, just when it's not colder, yeah. stay yeah, inside. Colder, yeah. 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 Have you tried running in fucking sun? That shit is fucking <laughs> tiring, man. Especially when you're a heavyweight, eh? Yeah. And cutting, cool. cutting weight is easy when it's cold. Hey, just on weights, uh, what's a bantam weight? Oh, that, that's like something. I, I, like. I was born a bantam like, weight. Uh, <laughs> bantam weight is 135. 
Uh, 135 pounds, I believe. So that's like it's uh, between it's Ronda Rousey. Like Ronda, Ronda, Ronda Rousey's I just, weight. I just saw it came up that there were bantamweight fighters, and I, I'm not familiar with a bantamweight. Yeah, bantamweight's 115, I think. No, that's okay, 135. 135. 135. Yeah. 135. Yeah. 115. So 60 oh. to 65 kgs. Yeah, light yeah. as hell. What's that in between? Phantom and welter. And a female bantamweight. Uh, that's somewhere in between being nice to sexy. Okay. <laughs> Not that, that I say with any of these fighters. They seem to wear a bit of makeup, eh? These chicks. It's they're, they're only is promo that, photos. Yeah. Man. Come on. No, like they, they, they don't wear them to the cage. Oh, okay. <laughs> they were that, yeah, no, there's no makeup on them to the cage. One of them was just getting wrapped up before, eh? And she looked pretty uh, foundationed up. And, oh, uh, really? No, that's yeah. Oscar De La Hoya. <laughs> 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 it's Dominic Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of the other exciting things about this time of year, moving away from uh, UFC action and, yeah, yeah. and boxing and stuff, and we don't want to talk about. I don't think we want to talk about Manny and um, Mayweather too much. I'm the fact that Manny's going to be releasing a, uh, his own his own his own <laughs> single to be his own new entrance music. Yeah, so, yeah. So that's I told be you guys he sings. Wow, well, I you, told you, you actually sings. did, and all we could find was, oh, we was laughed footage at you. of Drake. Yeah. Yeah. It was heartbreak you all over again. Always do that. Heart attack all over again. Always do this shit to me. <laughs> um, so that was that but the best one of the more exciting things about this time of the year WrestleMania it was road to Wrestlemania time yeah. for anyone whether you're a combat fan yeah. or you're just generally a wrestling fan or you're a hater in general you cannot you cannot deny the fact that Wrestlemania is the showcase of the immortals yeah. and it is the biggest entertainment slash sporting extravaganza in the world today you're talking we're expecting 85,000 people Where's it happening right. this year? 49 is the new 49ers stadium. I'm embarrassed mm. I didn't even know that. San Fran Bay Arena? Yep, the safe, San Fran Bay Arena, the new 49ers Bay. stadium. It is going to be... Well, it's not going to be the greatest card. Let's be honest here. Mm. They're lacking in a bit of talent in the WWE at the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, so we're going to have, what, Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns? If Rains. Brock turns up. Sting yeah, versus so Triple the story coming out of got, yeah. yeah, so the story coming out of the WWE or out of um, wrestling circles last week is that Brock Lesnar walked out of Monday Night Raw after having a pay dispute with Vince McMahon. Well, apparently he wasn't supposed to be scheduled. He wasn't scheduled to actually appear on the television. That seems really weird because he was there. But he was, but he was there to see Vince. Why would so you? So they were having a meeting during Raw. Yeah. Brock Lesnar I mean, yeah. has probably the greatest work schedule of any WWE champion in the yeah. history. Oh, yeah. He, he can come in pretty much he's, he's like the rock he can pretty much come yeah. in whenever he wants and you only have to appear a few days does this yeah. mean Brock and because some of the rumours going around was that Brock was going back to UFC yeah so. yeah, of uh, yeah I don't think Brock would ha- I think Brock's probably a little bit past it maybe yeah. um, I don't think he could take Kane now he could go to Bellator he, yeah, yeah he makes could go to Bellator sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. there'd be a restraint of trade though of him going to Bellator because of Bellator's relationship with um um, TNA with TNA, yeah. yeah so I, I can't see that happening. So it's either going to be UFC or it's going to be nothing at all. Or yeah. go to Japan. Yeah, yeah. Or we'll, uh, we'll go to money. We'll go to Japan. Yeah. Yep. We'll, um, so yeah, but so you got Roman Reigns versus uh, Brock Lesnar. My yeah. pick for this one, and we'll mark it down. I told Etienne the other night is Roman Reigns to defeat Brock Lesnar cleanly. However, to be in a really po- bad state, and for Seth Rollins to cash in Money in the Bank. Yeah, that makes about sense. Oh, because the, the crowd, the, yeah, the WWE crowd, crowd is, are going to fucking eat him alive. Yeah. It just depends on how the crowd is. If the, if the crowd is, is working for Roman, then they'll, they'll, let, they'll let him keep it. I think there's been enough I think there's been enough proof in the last couple of weeks, or since the Royal Rumble mm. in the last five weeks, that the WWE fans don't want Roman Reigns to win that. They want, and here's the thing. We're in this era now where you've got the smart fans, and everybody knows what the story is. They know yeah, what yeah. The, the, jig is, the jig is up. The jig yeah. is 100% up. You know? The fans control the product. Yeah. And oh, it yeah. was proven last year when Daniel Bryan won the title. What are they going to do this time around? Because I tell you, what, if they if they really fuck off the fans, the fans are going to make a big deal about this. You know, they're not going to they're not going to lie down and be happy. They will they will they will take over Monday Night Raw the next night, which is what they want most likely. Yeah, I think it's good for the product either way. No matter what yeah. happens, brings eye, new eyes on. And it's interesting that you say that because you know I, you know I've been always been a big uh, wrestling fan since I was a wee one, and like uh, ever since uh, Undertaker went down in that WrestleMania, man. Oh, yeah. the streak it just Ended. hurt the streak Apparently. went and I, I reckon they had a, they would have had a serious hit and a lot of loyal fans you know just yeah. um, I mean the dream was there I get the product I get it all you know but I just since then like for no yeah. for no apparent reason my, my my interest in the product has dropped and then they're, they're looking at booking uh, uh, Undertaker versus Bray Wyatt as well so I yeah. think I think if, if, if that really puts you off the product then you're there for the wrong reasons because 
the Undertaker, and it's, it had been noted before, the Undertaker had always said that he didn't believe the streak should go undefeated. Everything has to come to an end at some point, and the, and the mantle has to be passed. Yeah, I get whether it, or not, whether or not um, Brock Lesnar was the right guy to do it is a completely different argument in itself. It had to happen at some point or it's, another. It's the romance of the situation. The you know, idea, and, the way and, that it happened, though, was great. I enjoy. I enjoyed the shock. Yeah, the, the war. It was incredible. Yeah, yeah that's but see, uh, uh, after Brock uh, beat him, then he had to become the champion. Otherwise, it would have been a waste of time. Well, that's the reason they did it, man. They wanted him to be yeah. the dominant champion because mm. it was all about. I, I believe it was all about. I mean, they know what they're going to do with Roman Reigns twelve months ago. The problem yeah. is whether or not they've got the 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 flexibility to adapt the product due to what mm. happens. Um, you know politically well not politically what happens with the, the there's nothing political about the crowd taking over no, that's yeah. just hijacking the product and I love it I love it that the fans have that much of a say um, there's only actually four events that have been scheduled for Wrestlemania so far um, so you've got the Andre the Giant Battle Royal yep. which I think is a waste of time I, I would much prefer to watch Money in the Bank yeah they got the international uh, intercontinental sorry uh, I think it's an eight man Ladder, ladder match, match yeah, yeah this yeah. is bra- bad news Barrett so yeah I think that might that might try and do the money in the bank yeah. sort of thing what are the old school build up to Sting versus Triple H that was pretty cool yeah uh, you know what to be honest I don't want to see Sting wrestle again eh? uh, uh, I'm, in, I'm in that camp y- you know yeah. I'm, I'm looking at Sting now and he just does not have the body yeah uh, of anyone that should be taking his t-shirt off you know <laughs> is, is he going to wrestle in the t-shirt it, or is he going to wear like you know the, fight in the, the singlet bro the spandex you know I think like. Sting I think Sting deserves a Wrestlemania moment and I think Triple H is against a guy it's against a guy like Triple H sorry who can who can carry him Staples Center show on live on screen home of the Lakers yeah yeah, uh, yeah. Um, is going to sh- be able to show um, you better take Triple H Triple H is going to be able to make Sting look good yeah yeah Triple yeah, H regardless of what people think about He's Triple H wrestling worker. he is a great worker yeah. And he'll job to him, you know that. Yeah, yeah. He'll yeah. job to him, and he'll do a good job do doing it. Do the good it. of the company. That's right. He knows. He knows what his role is. Yeah, yeah. It's UFC 184 Sprawl oh. and Brawl, and I am ready. Are you ready, boys? I just ready saw a girl like go. shaking that again, and then the camera oh, just cuts yeah. off. Yeah. What, what the fuck is up with the cameraman in the UFC at the moment? Every time a girl's about to go kiss, they just whoop, gone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> LA baby, Bastards. LA baby, the West Coast. LA got the best host. Ultimate Rider. What's Where up? can we find your information? Tell well, us more about who you are. I am on Twitter, the Ultimate Writer. Is that where you're friends with? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> sure, I'm friends with Alan. Just Durban. be careful if you're friends with him on Twitter. He's actually not your really, friend. Really, I hate you. But, he um, actually hates if you, you get an invitation to his birthday party and you think it's a bit weird, we think it's weird too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Twitter, Facebook, um, Instagram. It's all the hub. Ultimate Writer. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Check it out. Was that it? That's it. You can catch me at the Real Dan McLeod on Twitter. Itty Ridscuff. Hey, you can catch me in the club uh, I, oh, with a bottle right. full of bub, um, a bottle full of bourbon, and uh, but you know, no, itty red scarf. Can't really remember everything else, but pretty much one one itty out there. Hey, Magic, give us a quick plug of some of the events you got coming up. Oh man, we got some cool stuff coming up. Auto Mania is our big one. Oh, nice. nice. So, um, <laughs> are you gonna have yeah. like? Uh, bikini comps uh, at Autovania okay yeah so um, Miss Bikini and Zed actually she, they, they run our uh, it's an international sort of bikini pageant and yeah. they, they run the uh, they run that section of the show for us yeah um, last year a pretty successful show it was down at the uh, Insect North Shore Event Centre one of the homes of the Breakers uh, we had about 10,000 people turn out it was a good cool. turnout. Um, oh, you were there, Etty. Yep, yep. You know, it was uh, good days. That's so, why there uh, were 10,000 people. Yeah. I was actually the only uh, security guard there. Oh, wow. Etty yeah. holds shit down. Yeah. Sounds well, legit. Promotion for Sly Day. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get one security guy. 10,000. He'll be right. He's, just put the scarf over there. It'll keep him away. <laughs> yeah. That's what he thinks anyway. So you got Autobania. What's the date of Autobania? Uh, May 10th. It's a Sunday. It's uh, free for public to come down and check it out. Bring the kids. We've got a uh, new amusement zone that we're putting in with some, like, carny games and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Live drifting, big car show, all of that. May the 10th? May 10th, North Shore Event Centre. Was it Sunday? Sunday. Sunday, May 10th, North Shore Event Centre, Automania. Of course, your other event, not for families and kids, is going to be down at Mantel's. Yeah, oh, you saw that one, did you? Yeah, I heard about it. Good night, man. He does his research. Name the event, give us the date, where can we get tickets? Mantel's on the water, uh, Lay Ball. It's it's R20. We go to iticket.co.nz. Check it out. Look it up on Facebook. Fat Cat Events. Uh, it's all there. And uh, yeah, something for the, the the sort of more mature crowd. 
I'm looking forward to throwing that party. Woohoo. All right, cool. Thanks, man, G, for being here. Ultimate Rider. Yo, yo. You're the man. It's your red scarf. Yo, what's up? You're the man. You're the man. Nate, the white guy hasn't said a single thing because he's been doing shit for us. Bye. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah. It could be. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Thanks. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like hey, too much, too much limelight, buddy. Yeah, mate. Uh, just kick back for a second, all right, mate. All right, you've already got enough. UFC 104 about the kickoff down at the tap room. 74 and I'm sure. Come on down, check quick, it out. Quick question. Yeah. Misha Tate or Cyborg? Which one would you have sex with? Yeah, if Misha, you had to have Misha one? Tate, that's a given. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Cyborg or Herb Dean? Herb Dean. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. We're going to see you guys next week. Thank you very much for joining.